Peace and love to you. Good morning. How are you? So, one thing I want to talk about um, is the it, within the process. Within the process, like what I mean by within the process is your what are you what are you doing? What do you do? What is your job um, when you wait, you're waiting or you're allowing for a manifestation to to flow into your life or show up into your life what do you do um so that's why i want this i wanted to make this recording about what is it that you need to do to allow uh, as to allow what is it that you need to do let me readjust from that that word i was about to use what do you need to do within the in between as you're waiting for the arrival or you're allowing uh, the manifestation to occur within your life. Um, a lot of people get impatient during this time. A lot of people get in, I'm going to give you some of the the, um, the basic issues that occurs when you're in the in-betweens, um, which is the domain of the universe. So let's clarify that first of all. The in-betweens is the domain of the universe. Okay, so you have... A, let's say A is your intent, your internal intent. That's your desire or want, okay? The second thing is B is the end result, whether it's equal to or greater than, okay? The university either gave you exactly what you wanted to, exactly what you asked for, equal to, or it gave you even better, better than, equal to or greater than, remember that. Okay, so you're, you're, the in-betweens at that point, the A and B is your, it's, it's, that's, you do a lot in, in that area. Um, and then you, we let it go, we detach, and then when we detach, we're in the in-betweens. The in-betweens, again, uh, just to, uh, uh, for repetitional purposes, it is the domain of universe, God, source. There's nothing you can control there. There's nothing you can really do there. That's God's business. Too many people, and now we're gonna go ahead and get into what some of the issues are, but too many people are concerned with, should I do this, should I do that? They try to use force action within the in-between, from that moment of in-between. Um, where, where What happens is within the in-between, God's source universe is aligning circumstances and situations and events to match your manifestation or your desire, okay? That's what it's doing. So sometimes manifestations are just one, two, three. Sometimes things have to be aligned, okay? The universe will align. And it's you gotta remember, it's within the time of the universe that the manifestation will come. All right, and we'll get into time and, and, and belief systems and all that stuff, some other video. Um, but that's one thing most people gotta understand is that you don't control anything with the in-between. There's really nothing you have to do at that point. Um, just let go, let God, so to speak. And so, Again, some people, they try to control. How do they try to control? Well, when you're trying to do extra actions that was not by the divine, so it's not inspired action. If it's, if it's not an action that's totally inspired, one of the, and you know it's an inspired action when you, you just got to keep it going, do it. It's just like, oh my gosh, this is, this is something in the universe. And, and you will know through practice, through meditation, when you're connected to source and when you're not. And when it's from source and when it's not from source, God, universe, okay? You will know if that's why practicing the meditation, practicing going within is so important because you're clearing up that 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 uh, vibrational frequency of separation. When you meditate, part of what you're doing is you're clearing up that, okay, that, that you're clearing up that the static that separates you the noise that separates you from source, from God, from the universe, 
when you when you're able to clear that up, the communication is is instant because you're closer now. And the reason that is because of that is because you raise your vibrational frequency to a pure positive vibration. The the the, the static or the, the the separation is caused by uh, by um, resistance, resistance or negative vib lower vibrations. Okay. It's just like having a cheap cell phone. You can have a cheap cell phone, talk to someone who has a nice cell phone. You're going to have a lot of drop calls, a lot of static. The clarity of that information you're conveying to each other is not going to be clear. If you have really good, a good service with each other and you have really great phones, the quality of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the connection um, is going to be much clearer and you can convey to each other whatever information you choose and it's gonna be really high quality. So it's the same thing when you communicate with God, source, higher self. It's all about meditating to clear up the chatter so that you have the clarity and you have a higher and better, closer, direct connection to, to God, source, universe, okay? Just a little uh, FYI there for you guys. Um, and again, I can make more videos on that particular uh, area if you choose. Just um, put a request, send me an email, uh, post a comment. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. That's one thing. I'm getting a lot of views. Uh, it's a new ch it is a new channel. It is a new channel. That, that should not be something that is going to make a difference. The information is older than anything the or this information can be found in the admiral tablets this information can be found in some of the oldest religions in the world so this is real information this is good information um again take what you need from it and you know put the rest to the side come back to it later at some other point as you get higher and higher your vibrational frequency um, and, and it will come to you. This, a lot of this information will come to you again and the clarity and understanding and, and the deeper uh, uh, depths of it will be much, much more clearer to you. I promise you that. It's just consistency and, per, per, and perseverance of watching these videos is not for me. I'm not trying to make recordings for me. I'm trying to make recordings for you guys and that's that's a blessing uh, to, that I'm able to do that and I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful that you guys get to, are able to to see these and and that you do take the time to see it to, to see these because as you elevate yourself you change the world and it affects everybody and and I feel that I feel those changes you know, you know? some people are sensitive to that and that's I, I'm one of those I can feel when someone is, you know, has raised their vibration has awakened because when you're, you're the reason why you're sensitive to it is because we are connected. We are all connected. Whether you, whether I know you or not, I don't have to know the physical. I know you spiritually. Um, but that's for another <laughs> another video as well. If you're interested in that, uh, again, uh, make a comment, send me an email. And please subscribe to my channel so we can keep this going. It is free. I'm gonna continue to try to see if I can make uh, some websites and some other stuff just so that we can we can reach out and uh, get this information to as many people as we can and make things much much easier for everybody and, a, and and my hopes is a place that you know like a blog even here make comments we can talk have discussions you know um, bring your ideas it's an old you know it's an open place open source for, for you know it's, it's an open source area where we can all communicate and talk you know um, good vibes though I'm just we're just looking for good vibes like-minded um, so the in going back to the betweens, and I apologize from from varying from that, but that information is also important as well. Um, but going back to the in betweens again, tr don't get caught up in trying to control anything. You can't control anything. Don't worry if you've done enough. You, you haven't not done enough. If you haven't done enough, but you've tried your best, the universe loves to see when you do your best and you have faith and you're allowing you let go then in your universe God source what it does is if, if there was something you didn't get right it'll fix it it'll fix it for you it's pretty cool how that works 
just because you had faith that everything was gonna go right, it'll make it right. Because you had that faith, you have that belief. So you just let go, let God, let the universe, let source. So that's something that you, you know you can take comfort in. All you have to do is try. But another thing that I see a lot of, of individuals try is they question how long this thing is gonna take, how long is manifestation gonna take. You know, and and it's it's almost like you know they're scratching at the door, like hello, hello, are you there? Are you gonna is are you manifested yet? Um, no, you can't do that because that you see what happens is when you're trying to control, when you're trying to question about time, how long it's gonna take, how long do you keep doing the, the, the exercises and whatnot, when you keep doing that, you're actually um, taking your manifestation or your desire to manifest whatever it is you want away from source, God, universe, you're taking it out of the hands and you're saying, I don't trust that you can, um, um, that you can bring this to fruitation for me. I'm gonna do it, or I'm gonna try to do it, or maybe you need my help. And and that's not how it works. Source doesn't need your help. You just need to follow the laws the way I'm, I'm describing it here to you guys. And and as you do that, it'll just happen. You see, by following laws, it's a formula, successful mind formula. And as we get deeper and deeper, and deeper, I'm gonna eventually make a video of the formula, how you utilize each formula, or different, what I mean formula, let me clarify, you're gonna learn how to utilize the different aspects of the different universal laws in a perfect combination, and, and that combination is the formula. And in that, when you utilize that formula, then you'll be able to, you know, master the faculties of your mind, allowing the things that you desire to flow into your life okay and so that's that's something that you got to just trust that once you once you practice those that that the the, the mindset the laws and it, it, that is all gonna eventually come together for you and again again I said I said it before I said it again you don't know if you're doing something right or wrong if you don't ask. You don't know if there's an easier way of doing something if you don't ask. The bottom line is, we gotta ask. Ask questions. Ask questions to the universe. It's okay. Ask open-ended questions. The universe loves open-ended questions. Okay? And sometimes if you're doing everything that I'm teaching, and you're still not seeing the results, it's okay to say to the universe to say, okay, well, is there anything else that I need to do on my end that I may have uh, missed or might, I may have misconstrued? What is it, you know, do I have to take any, certain, any action? Do I have to, uh, is there any words I need to say? Uh, anything I need to do, please convey that to me. I'm grateful and thankful for that information and it is so. So you can talk to the universe like that. And, and you know you can word it the way you want to word it of course um, so what happens within the in between is I'm trying to convey as much information as I can as it, as it flows through me is the universe will, will do what it needs to do to bring or align the vibrational frequency of the intent internal with the external okay and so Depending on what needs to be what needs to be done, and not, you know whatever it is that the, the universe is doing to us, it will seem like it's a long time, or it will seem like it's a fast or a short, what or what not. Okay. Um. So what do we do? Here's the here. Now we're talking real here. What can we do while we're waiting for the in-between to occur so for that process to con to 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 occur what do we do when this in-between is happening to us okay well what you do is is you you work on yourself you look at yourself and say okay I know this is what I want 
And I know that the that let's say for example you are want to be financially free. And you you're going from one job to the next, one paycheck to the next. And you put it out there to the universe and you follow the the laws and you let go. And then you actually are taking action that match the internal. So the internal and external are a perfect alignment, which is what we need to do. Because wishful thinking alone is not going to make it so, okay? It's, you have to align yourself with an external action. Um, it could be uh, you can take actions, learning, looking into what the kind of business you want. Uh, looking at what what are some of the the maybe there's certain courses maybe classes maybe there's some certain internships you know I know that Bob Proctor in Canada um, who's an author writer motivational speaker uh, he has programs and he helps other people to do what he does and to and and you pay like it's like some crazy outrageous amount of money like twenty five something thousand like that you know um, it's, it's it's a lot of money but it's really beneficial for those who can afford it because you're going to be able to work with him and his clientele. So you, you're, you're working with people, with his clientele who are, who are super wealthy, super connected. So you're going to, you know, you're going to be instantly elevated right away. And that's a beautiful uh, gift that he's providing, you know, and again, it is a lot of money, but look at the benefits. It's something you may want to look into. Um, what, what not but you know you could do something like that and look into that and pursue that and and that's another way of aligning yourself with the action even just looking at it people think that we have to take an action in the physical you can take action in the spiritual in the mind you can do a lot of work you can spend a you know a lot of times you're gonna find yourself that there's you've done everything physically possible and then a lot of people say, well, there's nothing else I can do. No. While you're waiting for the in-between process to occur, you can meditate, visualize, see yourself. Build the feeling of having it. Build the feeling of having it and seeing it and living it in the mind and spending more time there while the in-between process is happening. What's going to happen is, is that you're, you're going to remove any resistance. So while you're in the between, you want to remove as much resistance or separation. Because remember, resistance is separation. So you want to remove the resistance or separation from your desire or want. When you can, the way you do that is, is through the building of the new belief system or paradigm. And when you believe that you truly have it, what's happening is you're removing the doubts. You're removing that the fears or, or, the, or, or the disbelief that you, that is not that you don't you're not living that reality. When you can get your mind to truly believe that you are living that reality and that you have that reality now, then that's when the instant manifestation, or like I like to say, allowing of your desire wants to flow into your vibrational frequency or vibrational awareness it's like that car like I said before if you are not aware of when you go buy a car and you're not aware of that car you're like this is the most amazing beautiful car but you don't realize subconsciously you've seen that car so many times that you fell in love with it and then you buy the car take it home and then you realize why is everybody driving this car because you didn't you didn't it, you was it wasn't part of your vibrational frequency or vibrational awareness you were not conscious of it subconsciously you pick up everything consciously no so in that time of waiting or within the process of the in-betweens or God's domain different names same thing when you were you waiting for that process to continue to to occur and, and let me let me clarify this. You're not sitting there like, oh, it's the process done. No, you don't want to think about it. You really just want to let it go. But what's happened? What I'm doing is I'm breaking breaking it down. This is like what's happening. So yeah, I'm wait. You know, I'm not talking about my manifestation. I'm not thinking about my manifestation. I'm just letting it flow. I'm living my life. You know, following my bliss, like Joseph Campbell uh, stated. Um, just staying in staying in the moment, being happy. 
and, and continuously, you know, taking the time out to build the belief in my mind that I have that reality of financial freedom. Okay? And the more you do that, the more you're, dis you're removing yourself from the disbelief into the beliefs. Here, here's a better understanding. This is why, uh, um, you know, um, Nikolai Tesser said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think of it in the form of vibrational frequency. Because when you think of, when you understand how energy works, high vibration, which is energy works, you can understand what is really occurring uh, behind uh, the curtain, so to speak. And what's happening is, is that when, as, as you're, um, uh, waiting for the process in between to occur and you're visualizing and utilizing certain tools like manifestation mirror techniques and whatnot and I'll get into each one in different videos so that you can understand the tools okay and that you can use these practical tools practical tools and in, in your real life applications to build the mindset so what's happening again and I'll make this as quick and straight and short as I can without losing the, the 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 flavor of it all it's this you're when you're when you're visualizing you're changing your frequency okay to match the frequency of the reality that you so desire so here's the reality of it here einstein talks about this theory okay different realities living uh, you know existing at one time so you're in one reality right now you're poor in another reality you're um, sitting in the car, probably smoking a cigarette, thinking about life, life in general. And another reality, you're super rich, and and so you already exist, and you know that reality already exists. When you're when you're visualizing and holding that that desire to be rich, you make that absolute finite decision. I want to be rich. I want to be financially free. And if what you're doing, you're visualizing all the time and using all the the um, the, the the tools that I will be providing you. Um, what happens is, is that you're trying to, f you're fine tuning your vibration to the frequency of that other you in that reality here. And when you have resistance, you're right here. This is you. Your resistance keeps you apart from that reality. The, so when you're in the be in between, you're, you're and you're letting go, and you're, you're 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 visualizing. You're getting closer and closer and closer and closer until you phase in to that new reality. And then that your your subconscious first is gonna happen here in your mind. You're gonna really just believe that you have that. You're just gonna know. You're gonna believe. You're gonna feel it. And you'll be like walk with that confidence, like, oh, I'm already rich. I'm already successful. You're not gonna feel like I need money. You're not gonna feel like this. You're not gonna worry about spending money. And you're gonna notice too that you spend money. And compared to before, when you have fear of spending money, you'll spend money. All of a sudden, your money is is, is replenished. You see, because that's coming from the, that other reality, it's replenishing from the other reality, and it'll just happen from anywhere, so all kinds of places. Money will just flow through you. You see what I mean? But eventually, what happens when you finally lock in to that reality of that you're financially free and rich? What's going to happen is you wake up one day, and when you least expect it, it's going to be, it's going to feel like years pass, months pass, and you're like, "Whoa, this is crazy! I'm actually like living this reality." Okay. But so that's what you do when you're waiting within the in-betweens. You're, you're fine-tuning your vibration. You're removing disbelief, resistance by seeing yourself have it, by, by, by living it in your mind, by, by removing that, that, that doubt and that fear. Again, if you have any further questions on this topic, please let me know. Um, subscribe to my channel so uh, that we can continue to provide this information to you. As always, love and peace. This is Ray, keeping it real.